line behind Dean and Parchment. Dean is O'Shea Nation and doing great things. And so is Cavalier. Five wins in a row for them. This is how they line up. Jaden White, Giovanni Lynn, Kyle Ming, Gary Irving, Richard King, Christopher Ainsworth, Dwayne Allen, Dwayne Atkinson, Shamar Watson, Shanil Thomas, Jalmar, Jalmar Alvin. They're coached by Rudolph Speed. Let's have a look at how they line up in terms of formation. Yeah, they'll be playing with a 4-3-3. No surprise there. Atkinson in the wide area. Um, Bakken in, in flying colours. Ainsworth on the other side. And Calvin, the Antiguan and Barbuda national, really playing well. Chanel Thomas playing in that attacking midfield role behind the strikers. And he was the man of the match last time out. Really enjoying his work there. And as I said, yeah, Gadel Irvin with two assists the last time. Will be hanging out on the left-hand side. And yeah, interesting stuff. Gio Giovanni Ling actually asked to play the right hand side of that thing. So versatility being shown from this Cavalier lineup, and they are a dangerous one. How about you? Glenroy Samuel in goal. He's the man from Trinidad and Tobago. Ordalyn Harden, Ramin Brackenridge, Makima Jones, Ren Brown, Kasim Priestley, Trey Bennett, Garth Stewart, Deshaun Anglin, Omar Thompson, Andre Fagan. They're coached by Ludlow Bernard. Here's yeah. how they line up in terms of uh, formation. Yeah, they'll be playing with a similar formation to Cavalier. Big loss for them with the likes of the likes of Shaquille Bradford now moving on to Mount Pleasant. Those that goal scoring ability will have to be filled by Andre Fagan, who's been off the mat this season, but he will need help. Rohan Brown coming in fresh from double holding. Interesting to see what he will bring because he has been a a, a substitute for most of his time over the last couple of years at Dumble Holding, now into the starting lineup. And yeah, interesting to see what Harborview will bring. Just as they were finding form, two wins in a row. The game looked as if it was going to a stalemate, but eventually the goal came in the 74th minute for from Jerome Cleary. At full time, Cavalier won, Harborview nil. 4.30 kickoff here at the Anthony Swatting Sports Complex. And Abbeview had some great moments. That one from Art Thompson. Really against the run of play. Getting the shot off, but not getting it between the sticks. Anglin also having a shot. That rattled the upright. Jaden White would have been beaten. But these were really against the run of play in the first half. Cavalier having some half chances as well this one perhaps their best forcing a save from the goalkeeper Samuel Dwayne Atkins to the man behind that one and this what a beautiful take what a fire from Jalmara Calvin Samuel was busy and those were great opportunities for Cavalier and again another header but that was from Garth Stewart unable to really get it away and it rattled the upright second half action now Jashon Anglin what a strike it was what a rebound from Andre Fagan and on both occasions Jaden White was equal to the task a big day for him the man of the match in this encounter on the other end Dwayne Allen doing well getting it across and Samuel was unable to really hold on to it the first time. Atkinson getting busy and trying to make the most of it. Corner kick coming in. And Leng firing, make that Ming firing it off on the upright, getting it across. And McCleary, what a great head it was. And after all the melee, you could say, Ming doing the business to get it across and what a header it was Samuel slow to react and 1-0 for Cavalier that's the initial play of the upright from Ming and yeah another angle for that header Samuel beaten in the 74th minute further Heartbreak for Harborview, a second yellow card for that infraction. O'Shea Nation sent Akima Jones to an early shower. And another save made by Jaden White. Jashon Anglin not having a bad time at all from free kick range. That's the end of the match, said O'Shea Nation. Cavalier coming away with a 1 0 win. Here are the full time match st statistics. Five from nine not bad in accuracy four from six for harbour view 
13 fouls between the two teams. 13, 23 fouls, I beg your pardon. 13 for Harborview. Nine yellow cards and one red. One offside apiece. 12 corners, eight to Cavalier. Goalkeepers, even in terms of saves made. And Harborview in the end, edging the possession. But the spoils go to Cavalier. They come away with a 1-0 win and go atop the table in the reign of a Jamaica Premier League. JD, in a big clean sheet for you. You've had your struggles over the last couple of seasons with injuries, been out of the starting level. How, how important is it or how good does it feel now to be a solid member of the starting level yet again? Well, when you can help the team in any way, our farm it is always good. But for, per, for me personally, it's really good to almost be where I was before. And it's about improving each day as I go along. I was just about to ask you, how close are you to your best? Because those two saves that you, those back-to-back -back saves you made against Anglin and so on, it, it was really something of the Jaden White um, reel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really and truly, I've been putting in the background work. Right? At home, my training, I've been pushing it, pushing my leg because I know within myself that I am far, far from where I'm supposed to be. I know I'm better than what I've been for the past 18 months, so it's just for me to look into myself and push on. And from your standpoint, the clean sheets are there to show. I mean, what, six wins in a row now for Cavalier and quite a few clean sheets along the way. I think five of them clean sheets. Yeah, yeah it's good for me and the defence because at the beginning of the season, we've conceded a goal every game. So for us to win down and had four straight. Uh, so no one still hasn't scored on us. We scored on ourselves in the last game, but it's good for us as a defensive unit to build on going into our further games like the Champions League and going further on in the season. Just one point on the defence line because... Because of injuries or players going overseas, like, for example, Richard King, you've been forced to use other members around there, but yet you've still got the job done. What does that say about this Cavalier defence unit and, and how easy is it to, to work with different members each week? All right, so as the Cavalier matter said, Alpha 1, 1 for all, Alpha 1, it's, it basically says it. No matter who plays, we know what the system is, we know what our job is. We just fill the role, fill the position, and we get the job done. All right, continue doing your work. Um, Big clean sheet here today. Continue to climb the table. You guys are top of the table, so congrats on that as well. Yeah, thank you very much. We are working hard. Jadine White there, our play of the match for today. Cavaliers number one between the sticks.